Time now for your forewarn weather with Cedric Haynes. Well, TGIF Utah, let's get you out the door on this Friday morning. A beautiful start from the ABC4 News Studios. There you see our colonial flag whipping in the wind. There is a breeze that will likely increase later today. I'll have more on that in just a moment. But first, look at these temperatures. 65 degrees in Logan, 73 in Salt Lake City, 71. Good morning to you in Provo. We've got 64 in Moab, 68 in Hanksville, 66 in Lake Powell, and 63 in Cedar City. All right, let's take a look here at 4-1 radar because, yeah, we had a lot of active weather yesterday. It was a rough start to the day, but this morning we still have some rain out there, but it's mainly just some light rain showing up. So you can see a little bit of that lifting out of Moab and Monticello, a couple of more showers from Hanksville back down towards Escalante, and a couple of lightning strikes and some heavier downpours near Kanab. But at least right now, nothing like what we saw yesterday with the extreme heavy rain bands that were developing. But we are on guard today because we are still stuck between low pressure and high pressure with that monsoonal flow bringing in some of that monsoonal tropical moisture later today and that's going to give at least areas along and east of I-15 a better chance of some of those scattered showers and storms as we go throughout the day. So this morning yeah we'll have a few out there but by lunchtime I think that's when we'll start to bubble up a few more and then notice into the afternoon hours I think that's going to be the greatest coverage of some of these showers and storms but again note they will be scattered about but as you can see from Cache Valley down through the Wasatch Front especially the Wasatch back down towards central portions of the state as you get towards Castle Country. That's where we'll see a lot of the uh, better chances of showers and storms. That comes to an end tonight, and then this cold front makes its way through. Yes, this is the cold front we've been talking about all week long, and behind that front, some much cooler air. Could be a couple of isolated showers up around the Cache Valley late Saturday, but for now, I'm going to keep the majority of us dry. But there is a slight chance, I do want to tell you that. As far as storm threats go, could see a couple of strong storms this afternoon across the eastern half of the state. Wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and some small hail. But the bigger story, Wasatch Front and points to the west, the winds are going to start to really pick up. That's going to bring in some drier air across the western half of the state. Drier air, low humidity, gusty winds could lead to an elevated fire danger. So you can see a critical fire danger as you get towards Ely over towards the Wendover area as we go towards today and by Saturday we'll see that elevated fire risk uh, expand along the I-15 corridor from Cache Valley all the way down through Cedar City so we want you to be on guard for that red flag warnings have been issued for the Wasatch Front back through the West Desert region here for that potential of an elevated fire risk. Beyond that, let's talk about the good weather, right? After the slight chance of a storm today in St. George, 96, we cool it down to the low 90s there for the weekend with lots of sunshine before rebounding back to near 100. The Wasatch Front scattered storms today. How about 80s and then 70s? Ooh, yeah, that sounds great. Coming up for us this weekend, talk about a taste of fall.